Hi everyone, so today I want to talk to you about God comes to give us life and to give it in abundance. God desires to give us everything that is good. God desires for us to live life that is good, that we make right choices, that we make right decisions in life, because when we do that, good things come our way. When we make bad choices and when we make bad decisions and when we make bad calls, Yes, we can ask God for forgiveness, but our harvest on that bad is coming anyways. We can ask God to be merciful, but it's still coming. So that's why God's desire is for us always to do good things so that what comes back to us is nothing but his goodness, but his promises. And so the Bible says that God comes to give us life and to give it in abundance and to give us nothing but good things that we live long lives, healthy lives, holy lives, righteous lives. When we do everything that is good, it's not that we're living perfect, but we do a lot of good and right things that please God. Then God is able to bless that and multiply it and give you more of his goodness. You know, but at the same time, the Bible says that the enemy comes to steal, to kill and to destroy. And so while we're doing this, the enemy comes to tempt us to do bad, to do evil, to say things we shouldn't, to get into messes that we have no business of getting into. And that's his way of distracting us from God's path. That's his way of distracting us from the goodness of God. But I want to tell you today that you don't have to fall for those things that the enemy tells, him, tells you. You can tell him, leave me alone, devil. I am not choosing to do the evil. I am not choosing to do the wrong. And if you are doing them, then you have a right to turn away from them. It's not hard to turn away from the wrong, from the evil. It's not hard to choose to do what is good. You have that option to choose. You have that option to change your life, to turn it around. In a second like that, you can turn your life around. Nothing is hard. The Bible says that nothing is impossible for him who believes. You have to believe that God can turn your life around, that God can change it. But God is a good God. You have to ask him to come in and to help you change. And if you do that, he will come and help you change. So I want to encourage you not to let the enemy steal anything from you anymore, not to choose the bad things in life, not to live life just by chance or just we'll see what happens today or getting from one mess to another mess to another trouble or struggling your whole life. No, God does not desire that for you. Those are just the plans of the enemy to take your joy, to take your peace, to have you be sick your whole life. Those are just not good things from God. God can change your life around and God can give you great things in life. So I want to encourage you today. Talk to God. Make him your best friend. Communicate with him daily. And not just in the morning or not just at night before you go to bed, but every time that you're going through things in life, throughout your day, if somebody got on your nerves, throughout your day, if you're at work and you're having a hard time, if you start off in a bad day, God, I started off in a bad day. Help me get my day better. God wants to talk to you. He wants to communicate with you and he wants to help you in life. He wants you to live your best life while you are here on this earth. Do not let the enemy steal anything else from you. The Bible says he's a defeated foe. Jesus went to that cross and already defeated him. So victory is yours. Take it by faith today in Jesus name.